All right, we're back, and we are going to conclude this tournament here with the grand final set. We have Bobbert, who has made a huge run here, not dropping a set at all, beating people like our former champion from two weeks ago, Manny, versus Amanganza, who has had a very strong run of his own, taking down Alsoda twice. And now they're both here. Do I see a snake? We got snake versus Bowser, okay. Yep. We saw the Incineroar before, then we saw the Mega Man, but we're gonna see the snake this time. Let's see how much of a difference this makes. Game one on Smashville Grand Finals, let's go. Yeah, so far, I mean, snake's gonna be a little bit easier to- Oh my run. god, Bowser oh my still... god, okay. I thought he was dead there. That was a very interesting play from Bobbert, who, this is definitely an interesting matchup because Snake can wall out Bowser and just get so much damage off of grenades and stray hits, <laughs> kind of lingering hits, but Bowser can also in his own way convert off some of these grenades for some disgusting setups. Yeah. So we'll see who can hold on the longest. Yeah, the other thing too is that Snake can provide a lot better of a ledge presence than uh, Mega Man can. Yeah, oh, the up tilt, kicking his head right off. And so far it seems like... I feel like this is, if it keeps going this way, we might just see this snake the entirety of the way. As very, very strong gameplay here from Ammo Gonza. Bobber getting a good grab there, knocking him off stage, but so far very heavily in favor of Ammo Gonza. Getting a lot of damage. Oh! There's that stock, and all of a sudden, back to being even in terms of percent right now is. Yeah, just stocks. No, well, stocks. Well, I mean. One Bowser combo and it basically will be stocks. You mean percent? Well, percent, yeah. yeah. yeah it would basically be one Yeah, percent. and we're almost there. Up, oh, down tilt. Gets that read almost. And with the nade, good flame breath, and that's going to be an instant like 30. And grab, back throw, and now it's back to being even in terms of percent. Yep. Well, Nikita. I don't know what he converted with, but I think he converted with nade. Yeah, oh, there's that command grab from Bobbert. Getting him on tough spot off stage, and now Amalgonza forced to go high. Gets that back air, puts him a tough spot. Then Akita doesn't get the strong hit of it, but almost. Oh, nice up tilt. Not enough to kill, though. Good yeah, he's going to have to force a landing here, and he's going to get caught with the command grab. That's going to be the stock. And now Bobbert back in control here. Took a bit to figure it out, but was able to finally kind of adapt better. And oh, he wanted something there as a good follow-up. Nice parry, but the grenade actually could have, might have actually stopped him from getting a true punish. <laughs> well, it didn't matter. It's an up tilt. He gets an up tilt, so he still doesn't take too much damage, which is good for him because it could have been really bad. And gets the C4. I mean, still, this is very close between these two. Down throw. Oh, I look. I res I like what he did there. With uh, the grenade, if a snake holds it and you get a down throw, you can convert that into a back air. Yeah. Very good setup, and I could see Bobbert was really aiming for it. But wasn't able to get it, but still doesn't really matter too much as he still got a percent lead and very heavy, so can hold on. I mean, Amo Gonza still keeping it close, but this could be the this could be really bad, and he won't make it back. Oh no. He'll make it, it back. back. And he, well, he did, but the forward air will take him down, and Bobbert takes game one in this grand finals. Yeah, and this, all that ledge, pre all that ledge pressure just converted very well for Bobbert. What a thumbnail. Yeah. All right, well, looks like they're sticking with the snake regardless. I don't think we're gonna see the Mega Man unless something horribly goes wrong. I don't like seeing him live to 180 as Mega Man. <laughs> Alright then, yeah. that, I think I got the confirmation. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Like. Hey, that definitely makes sense. I mean, living, li seeing your opponent live that long has to be the most frustrating thing in the world. This is coming from someone who plays a character that getting to 180 is nearly impossible. <laughs> They're probably even getting half that percent is also impossible, but regardless, on smaller battlefield, which just shows you that regular battlefield is pretty much dead. <laughs> At least this whole tournament has been dead for the most part. We'll catch them with the regular Kamango. battlefield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> regular battlefield. Uh, we haven't seen regular battlefield at all. That stage yeah, is dead. Yeah, we have. Dead. We've seen it like once or twice, but in terms of small battlefield, yeah, that's just completely over overran it. Oh, another command grab. Oh, he's just dead. And only 26% done to Bobbert there. 
He's doing really well. Oh, the upbeat. That's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he wanted the shield break with the Bowser Bomb. I definitely could have seen that one coming. All right. Oh, the trade's not working out, and Bobber has got this snake figured out, it seems. Not really going well right now. Almost runs into that C4 back air. Puts him in a tough spot, and there's that forward air, and now he might be forced to in a really bad spot. He gets caught by the F tilt. Ammo Gonza trying so hard to find any way back on just to avoid this pressure, and it's not going well. Oh, man, there's that. I think that was a jab or something. F tilt, maybe. Okay, there's, the there's an F tilt. Ammo Gonza trying to get smash. something. Up smash just barely misses. Grab the back throw. He's off stage. Oh, he just barely misses that fair, which is very weird. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I guess the up tilt, but uh, yeah. you know, Ammo Gons is still very far behind. There's the up tilt from. Yeah, so they're Robert. yeah very behind for sure now as that stock is just deleted. Oh, he wanted that F smash. He's doing what he can to hold on here. Oh my god! 61% he gets the down here. He wanted more, but he's not able to follow up anymore. But this is still looking really good for Ammo Gonza, who suddenly has just turned on the Jets. Oh, but that get up attack just barely, and now. Bobber getting it back together there, getting that 41%, and he just he just stood there for like a good few seconds doing nothing. Yeah, okay. it works though. There's a big conversion there from Bobber, getting 60% right away. Yeah, dash attack knocks him off, and now can he get the conversion? He does with the F smash. Gets the two frames. That's gonna put Bobber to last stock, and Ammo Gonzo is not too far behind now. Yeah, but that flame breath does a lot. Oh my God, with the C4 to dash attack and another dash attack, 51%. Ammo Gonza did a really good job there, but he gets the command grab, and he's dead. Yeah, that bear is going to kill, and yep. game two goes to Bobbert. Bobbert up 2-0. Bobbert one stock away from winning Battle of the Bay 3. Yeah, one stock away for sure. <laughs> Yo. Did I say one stock or one game? You said one stock. <laughs> Fucking hell, I need rest. This is yeah. what happens when you get like four hours of sleep before a tournament. Anyways, well, we're, we're here. Game, game three. Uh, yep, up there it is. Ammo Gonza going against what they said, pulling the Mega Man out. And we are going to see if that makes a difference here, if he can use it to pull a miraculous comeback, or Bobber just goes home the champion. We will see. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to put any stock on either, uh, either side. It's, it could both, go either way for yeah, sure. Both players have shown potential of just dominating the other, so we shall see how it goes. And good stuff already from... Uh, Ammo Gonza already doing pretty well with this Mega Man, and this is the thing that Ammo Gonza has just done so well with Mega Man, is just the ledge game, the ledge pressure and the edge guarding has just been so effective, and we are seeing some huge life here from Ammo Gonza just turning it up, and now looking like a whole new player with this switch, and oh my god! <laughs> Get down here into up tilt. Jeez. This is just... He is, something has woken up in him, like the beast has just been unleashed, and... Yeah, he's... Being a little bit more aggressive on ledge, just going out there, not being scared of Bobber's aerials. Yep. But again, that's kind of how you have to play when you're down two games. You kind of have to take some more risks here, and it's kind of working. I mean, granted, going Mega Man was not really a real risk in his mind, I'm sure, but... Yeah, but I think the reason he went Snake is other than... Well, it's mainly because he doesn't want to see Bowser live to 160. Yeah, but, but you know. it wasn't even a matter of living at that point because most of the time he couldn't even get a stock. But, all right, misses that forward air. And now, just Ammo Gonza just pulling this so far away. The ledge trump bear. There you go. And with that, Ammo Gonza one stock away from forcing game four. He's already pulled one reverse 3-0. Can they do it again? Down throw. He wanted more, but he's not able to get the follow-ups. The Leaf Shield up to 49% on their final stock here. Yeah, this has just not gone well for uh, Bobbert whatsoever. Definitely looking like a different story now compared to the first two games. Yeah, Animal Gonza really has ramped up, up the play, but he gets killed by a kill. Yeah, so he at least gets one conversion to kind of just stop the bleeding for now. We'll see how much Bobbert can get, as that's a good string there. Good Nair out of up throw, but... Definitely going to need some more miracles to pull this back, as that's not one of them. I mean, he, he, this game can pretty much just be a wash for him anyway. Yeah, because I mean... Oh my god! Okay! <laughs> okay, that's just a mix-up. <laughs> yeah. I have already spiked him, but he didn't, and he's still alive. And... There's that forward air. 
Yeah, I think so. But, uh, you know, just not not too much so far from them. Okay, gets yeah. hit by the up smash. Good to the guy, they stay alive. Oh, he's, he's dead. dead. Yep, yeah. alright, so game four it is. Ammo Gonza holds yeah. on. Yep, yeah. at least taking one game with Robert. Now, yeah, just, uh, that one. Yeah, I'd say he kind of played completely differently. Like, he kind of went for more pressure options. Uh, he had a little, a little bit more presence off stage with the Mega Man. Yeah, unlike with Snake. Yeah. Then again, it's a lot easier to put your put a lot of pressure off stage when you have multi hits and all that, especially when it comes out like right away. Start the battle, Mega Man. We're getting started with the game number fours. Uh, Bobbert still has a 2 1 advantage here, but. Ammo Gonza. He can turn a game around. He can, he can turn up the Jets and turn the game around right away if he wants to. But so far, really early lead for Bobbert. Just needs to get one finishing move, and that, that is not gonna be it. He doesn't get the platform. He does. Get the fair, good DI from Ammo Gonza though. Keep himself alive. Ooh, back throw? No follow up. He didn't he didn't he was, he didn't want to get punished there. Uh, well, this is the best If Ammo Gonza could keep up this momentum, that would be huge, but so far a lot of damage tacked yeah. onto them. We'll yeah, but he's got him off stage. Bobbert in his bad spot. Like even though Ammo Gonza's He's gonna die in one hit anyway. So. Oh yeah, one one command grab and at that point, or even just an up tilt like that, <laughs> we'll just kill him. And so, Ammo Gonza definitely has a good chance. Yeah. I not mean, not nothing too drastic. I mean, he's got him off stage where he's dominated in terms of just that situation. Yeah, and now Bobber's going low a lot. That forward air. I think Ammo Gonza wants to catch him with the hard knuckle, but. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. Yep. Oh my god, the raw F smash! <laughs> he just drop kicked him with no hesitation, and now. One stock left. Yeah, Bobber was just tired of seeing AMO Gonza throw out his stuff, and he was just <laughs> like, like, okay. He's like, okay, it. stop it. Just, just fucking stop. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> like, get that shit out of my face. And now, all of a sudden, Bobber has just turned this all around. And it's now only one stock away from winning this winning this tournament. Yeah, but very, very dominant showing so far, but it's not he over. Still has to close it. <laughs> yeah, Ammo Gonza, as we've seen before, a lot of situations where it felt like they were done and dead. They just came back and oh my god, this and is he's gonna, just he did it, it out. again. <laughs> he just he evens just it out. He just evens it like that. Just takes no damage and is now only one stock away from forcing a game five. Unbelievable work here from Amagonza. Amagonza. Yeah. yeah, he just worked his way to another stock. Played a little bit more aggressive on ledge. Went low, go went for the Packers, and at that point, Hard Knuckle was almost a guarantee to hit. Yeah, and now this is suddenly turned around. I went from being this is pretty much over for uh, Amangaza to there is a chance for Game Five now. Definitely, the chances have increased so much. A lot of damage tacked on. I mean, it's not out of the clear just yet, but definitely a much better situation than it was looking less than a minute ago. In fact, this might be his best bet. Yeah, he gets I back, and he does. We're going to Game Five. What a turnaround from Ammo Gonza. Yeah, 2-2 two, two so far, but he's still in loser's bracket, so he does have to take a couple more games. Yeah, but that's a matter of he's got to get there. Stop battle! Mega Man! And so, Game 5 on Yoshi's Story, which you know, is definitely a Bowser pick for sure. The platforms and the low blast zone, and the small blast zones definitely benefit him, but Ammo Gonzo can also take advantage. Okay. Yep, this is definitely a good stage for uh, 
for Bobber to take this. I mean, it's a small stage to get combos and stuff. Triplot's working out very well. But can Ammo Ganza do it? Can they force a bracket reset here? Or is it going to be all she wrote? We will find out now. And so far, pretty even in percents. The two are just trading blows back and forth. This is very important to both players because this is going to be the deciding factor between a whole new bracket, a whole new set, or just the end of the tournament as a whole. Yep, and with Ammo Ganza being a loser, you know, he still has some ways to go, even if he does win this game. Yeah, but that would just give him a huge momentum swing, but the speaking of swinging, you just swung him off the platform with that command grab. Yeah, and that's one of the benefits of Yoshi's story. No OH MY oh, GOD! Goodness. No way! No way! He killed him at <laughs> He killed him at 16, that's ridiculous. 16 percent! And that's another that benefit. That for is the da that could be the dagger in this entire run. Yeah, it's not just that the platforms almost guarantee an earlier. Oh with, no! <laughs> with th th this is uh Look, I know Emin Gods has been a comeback king today, but I have a feeling this is it. I mean, like... This yeah. might be. Like, that's a little bit difficult to come back from. He takes yeah. the first stop. I mean, but... it's not like he didn't do it before, but... This is oh, gonna be a little man. bit insane. There, there, there's a do yeah. <laughs> He's gonna have to play out of his mind He's to come gonna back. have to play the best smash of his life right now. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying it's well, out of the question. Yeah. <laughs> it's not out of the question, but after oh, a shield break set up like that... Jesus Christ. Good DI. Good DI, and he uses the wall hub. Okay, leaf shield. And sometimes all Ambo Gonza needs is a chance. That back air can- yeah. Oh, he got- Oh, oh he okay. almost he got him. him He almost did, but he's still living. Catches the air dodge with that flame slash. He's still alive. He's still got a chance. There's never say die here for Ambo Gonza. Oh, he tries he to- tries to that, that, that is that's it. it! And Bobber- Holds on and wins Battle of the Bay 3 and gets the clip of the day by killing him at 18. No, that was 16. That's ridiculous. Six, 16. That's yeah. ridiculous. Congratulations to Bobber for taking Battle of the Bay 3.